and let me now kind of summarize where we've been. We got the idea of an index, and if I haven't said it enough times, I'll say it one more time. An index is an alphabetical or numerical list of terms. They could be single words, and in the case of, of Google, I want you to understand that they are single words, right? They're every single different word. In the case of other indexes, it could be phrases. It could be a two or three word phrase, you know, arachnids in Africa, and that's a, a, that's a single index term. But in Google, it's all single words because they shake all the words apart. Okay, so that's, I, that's the idea of an index in general. Google's index, or a full text index as I like to call them, or maybe an inverted index, or an inverted file, or reverse index, all those different words for the same concept, is that idea of, instead of like a book index, in a book index do they take all the words and shake them off the page? No. They go and they choose the most significant words, and some of the words in a book index may not even be in the book. Right? They're just words that are describing the content of the book. But that's not how it works in a full text index, in a Google type index. A Google type index is literally all the words on the page. Now why wouldn't Google have that same kind of index like we have in the back of a book where we make up some words that may not even be on the pages of the book? Because it can't. It's just a machine. All it can do is read all the words on the page and shake up that page and um, turn that page into, uh, into part of its alphabetical or um, full text index. So that's the general idea of an index. Um, and the specific idea of the Google index, and there's at least two. I think there's probably likely to be a lot more than two, but I don't know about any other ones besides a title index. That is a full text index of all the words in the titles of all the pages that it indexes. And a content index, that's all the words in the body of the web page that is being indexed. Okay, and then we have this idea of crawling the web. How does Google find all the pages on the web? It finds the pages by spidering out by starting from as many hub pages in the, in the web network as it can and spidering out, following all the links out from those pages. And doing that, it's amazing what portion of the web it can get to, but it certainly doesn't get to the entire portion of the web. It doesn't get to the entire web. Okay, that's indexing.